name is Peter Chalo. I like to share um, a spoken word piece. Um, it's a poem that I wrote after reading a book by Miles Monroe, speaking about purpose. And from then I began a poetry journal. And I named uh, this poem Legacy. And the journal, coincidentally, I named it The Quest to Die Empty. But little did I know that it was going to make significance at some point in my life, so I am grateful for this day. I have been around for 28 years, and it doesn't seem a mighty long time, but remember, I have ears for sound, eyesight, smell, taste, and touch. My senses, all portions of my members, the gateways of ceaseless entry of information to my mind and my heart, so it does make sense to sensibly say that after 28 years, I have seen quite a lot in my lifetime. I have seen men of great potential sell their birthright, drowning in the pool of drunkenness, like that cousin of mine that served faithfully in the church choir in my village, got a sponsorship to college thereafter, a job. Then a love affair with a brown bottle that left the colorful portrait of his life scarred in pieces. The last I heard about him was that he was getting some stitches. I also remember from my school days, Joseph, not the one who fled, but the one who bled, my desk met, bright in academics and talented in sports. I mean, he was the first guy I ever saw take a sport kick and send the goalkeeper diving the wrong way. But little did I know that his life was also going to dive the wrong way. For he was felled by the bullet of a gun, for he opted for crime as a means of fattening his purse. How unfortunate that so early in life his life passed away. I have also seen a girl, adorable, full of virtue, snatched from the flock of good by that vicious wolf named Lust. I mean, she could sing a hymn and bring joy to hearts that are bare, but besides to sing, she chose to cling to a man who will give her things, thinking that joy that will bring. A fling, a string of affairs with no ring, she exposed her worth to the sting. I've also seen men of great stature, shamed and badly famed, for they gamed with vices and had their name maimed and forever blamed, for they will not resist the seductive call of greed, so they chose to breed and feed on the sweated deeds that had workers of a nation yield for our build, therefore they had their fate sealed when they were willed out of that guild. This is a few of what I have seen, they all had goals, they all had dreams, but they were not living a legacy, they were living a fantasy. But there is a different breed of men, there are those that were born of an ordinary birth, but they chose to live their lives contrary to the ordinary. They challenged the status quo and with morals and principles, they were somewhat a doer. They were conscious of the treasures they carried and they strived never allowing it to go down to the ground buried. They identified their purpose and to such they married, always on motion pursuing, never once they ever tarried. The record books of history had room for such because they are not worthy and so did the minds of men because they are praiseworthy. They started brightly and beautifully on the brightly lit theater of life. They conquered in conquest in the great arena of life. Such had their names called out by the thousands if not millions. A topic they were in the lips of men for with such lacketh not opinions for they were living a legacy. They were not living a fantasy. They were hailed and praised greatly, present in the thoughts of people, whether near or far, their tales were heard, for they were not to be taken simple. The record books of history had room for such because they are not worthy, and so did the minds of men because they are praiseworthy. They earned that which men covet, a legacy that lives down to generations, not just a gravestone with inscriptions of one's period of lifeless navigation. They played their part and did their act, did their role and answered their call. They stood out tall, they shared their hearts, employed their crafts and achieved their goal. They lived life alive and not lifeless or heartless as a walking dead. For their fountains did break forth and their flows widely spread. 
They attempted great feats and some failed miserably. Yet they picked themselves up to persist honorably. For they were not living a fantasy, but they were living a legacy. If I will give examples in distant lands, then I will quote Martin Luther King Jr. I will talk about Mahatma Gandhi, Mother Teresa. And if I will take a journey back in distant time, I will talk of Jesus Christ, the Apostle Paul, Joseph, David. But if I was to bring it closer, I will talk of Wangari Mathai. I will talk of you, 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 and you. And if I was to bring it home, I will tell you about Matthew Mata. You may not know about him, but 10 years ago he led me to Christ. And three months later, I have never seen him to this day. But he ushered me to the kingdom that I can say that I am not living a fantasy, but I am living a legacy. Ladies and gentlemen, what more shall I add to the accolades of the dead and gone, whose spirits are separated from their decayed flesh and bones? Or the alive and strong, whose thoughts thoroughly throng the hearts and minds of man like his desired most preferred song. Only this, that the record, that the, 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 the books filling our libraries are records of their thoughts, and the wisdom in the mouths of men are repetition of their words. So now I am faced with this undeniable reality that it is my turn. It is my turn to grab hold of this priceless baton of purpose in the racetrack of my life. It is my time to break forth, my time to fly, run, walk, crawl if need be, that my name may not be list, but be listed in that great scroll of greatness when I shall be well rested. For I, I, Peter Chalo, am not living a fantasy, but I am living a legacy. Thank you.